Sunny and warm right now, but we've got a live Super Doppler 4 impact day on Friday with scattered rain heavy at times. An isolated thunderstorm can't be ruled out as warm as we are this week, but until then, we're going to enjoy what we got. We got some clear skies across the area. As we look at live Super Doppler 4, it'll track those rain showers hour by hour as we go into the week, especially on Friday. But chances are we get some more rain at some point on Sunday. Look at this clear skies. I love seeing that sunshine a little bit later into the evening hours and holding on to that warm 71 degrees. The wind out of the south southwest is bringing in the warmth, but I got to tell you, it's extremely dry right now. So as soon as we lose that sunshine, these nice temperatures in the 70s will tumble. It's going to be quite chilly out. You want a jacket if you have any kind of plans to be out and about. We'll eventually fall to the low 40s. A few upper 30s peppered in across the upstate like Pickens at 39 or Gaffney at 38. We're certainly in the mid to upper 30s in the mountains. Now, as we go throughout the day tomorrow, lots of sunshine temperatures get into the low 70s. It's going to be a very nice day in the mountains. We'll start Start off in the 30s, warming up to the upper 60s in areas like Asheville, Hendersonville, Fletcher, Edneyville, or Dana. Now, as we move into tomorrow, look at these temperatures mid 70s. This is over 10 degrees above where we should be this time of the year. And moving forward, it doesn't stop there. We're going to be very warm, in fact, closer to 80 on Thursday and then again on Saturday. So, what changes for us? Well, as we go through tomorrow, just partly cloudy skies, no problems. Thursday, same story, partly cloudy. It's Thursday night into Friday that we begin to see changes, first in the form of some clouds Friday early in the morning, and then rain knocking on the door on Friday. It won't be all day long, but good chances are we'll see some rain at some point. Latest timing would have this rain rolling into the area about midday. With it being warm at that time frame, we could have a few rumbles of thunder out of this. It shifts to the south as we go into Saturday to where that front is mainly to our south along I-20, Columbia to Augusta, leaving us mainly dry on Saturday afternoon. Sunday looking a little bit better as well. We've got that front to the south. A wave of low pressure trying to roll on it, though. That could bring in some rain to parts of the area, but this time yesterday, this rain was a lot further north, so it's trending a little bit more to the south, meaning if it does rain on Sunday, it won't be a lot and it won't be very long. Bulk of the rain would be in the south parts of Georgia and South Carolina, and we will be clearing out regardless as we go into Sunday evening. With that said, when we clear out, we are going to cool down. In fact, much of next week looks to be very chilly across the area. Rainfall totals aren't great with this. We're not going to see a lot, uh, half an inch or less in most of the computer models for Friday's rain. A little bit more on Sunday if you do get the rain. Uh, yeah, most of next week, got a bullseye across the southeast for below normal temperatures, and that looks to continue toward next week into the weekend. So uh, get used to it being cool after we see this warm up here. And check it out, 78 degrees on Thursday. We're at 73 on Friday with some spotty showers. Saturday, 77 degrees, and look at Sunday, spotty rain. 72 next week. We've got a couple of frosty and freezing mornings in the 30s across the area.